Hey guys, it's Ashley here, and I'm here with a book haul for September. I believe it might be just one part, maybe two, it depends. Um, I'm still waiting for some other books coming in the mail, if they do. Um, and I kind of just wanted to put this video up for Sunday because I don't have a review at Sunday because I've been in and reading books and I've been watching The Walking Dead on Netflix and everything. If you see me acting a little bit slow when I turn my head, it's because I pulled a muscle right here on my neck when I was sleeping and it hurts like anything. So I'm going to try to film this video for you because I wanted to put something up for Sunday. Um, so let's get to it. This comes from Barnes & Noble, the store, Barnes & Noble Online, Book Outlet, I haven't put a book outlet order in so long, and Walmart. The first book I got, I'll start at Walmart, is A Whole New World, A Twisted Tale, you can see it, by Liz Bras Braswell. It's got Jasmine here and you flip over Aladdin and it said what if Aladdin had never found the lamp now this is a retelling I believe um, I've only got to page 21 um, about it follows the movie um, Aladdin but it's what if Aladdin didn't find the lamp and Jafar found the lamp and all the craziness that happens during that so it sounds really really good and exciting and I hope it doesn't have really a lot of good reviews on um, Goodreads, but I still wanted to give it a shot. So, got that one. And then I'll start off with the book outlet order. It's killing me. Um, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books, and it came out to like $28. The most expensive book was $3.99, and the least expensive was $1.99. Um, this book I got for... Uh, my fiance is Fire and Ash by Jonathan Mayberry. It is the fourth book in the Rotten Ruin series. It was a dollar ninety nine scratch and dent because this is a little bit bent here. But he didn't have this book and he's been wanting to finish the series, so I saw it and I picked it up for him. The other ones are Rotten Ruin, Dust and Decay, and Flesh and Bone. It's about zombies in post apocalyptic world, and he loves it. I haven't read it, but he loves it. And then I picked up these two books because I've been wanting to get into like a dystopian book and I had read this book a long time ago and I liked it but I never finished the series so I, I picked up all three. I picked up the first one through uh, Barnes and Noble and the other two were on Book Outlet and that is Outpost by Anne Aguirre, the Razorland trilogy and Horde by Anne Aguirre. This one's a big book. Um, and this is about post-apocalyptic, um, a world where you're in this underground, like, underground vault type thing and you have to, these people have to get out and if you see my Friday, um, read, you know what it's about, but it sounds really good. I read it on Clay and I loved it, so I wanted to definitely finish the rest of this series. And then I think Prue's project, she did, talked about this and this is dubbed as... Orange is the New Black meets something, I forgot. But it's The Walls Around Us by Nova Rensuma. And it says, let's see. I guess it's it's hard to explain. Like, there's not much on the in flap to really explain. Um, it's about two girls and how their lives go in. One girl's in jail, one girl's not. And how it, their life intersects, intersects with another girl. But again, it's been dubbed as Orange is the New Black. Um, so definitely wanted to pick this up. I did read her short story book that was in the Monster Slasher Boys and Monster Girls. Um, or Monster Boys, I don't know how you say it. I had that book. I returned it from Barnes & I did not like it. Um, I really, to me, I can't get into short stories because I really want to fall in love with the characters. And for a short story, you really kind of can't. So um, I didn't like her for short story, but maybe I'll like the book. And then this is a small book. This is The Body in the Woods, A Point Last Scene Mystery by April Henry. I've wanted this since last year. Um, it's about these kids, Alice, Nikki, and Ruby, come from very different backgrounds, but they find a body in the woods, and it's supposed to be really good. And again, it's short, so it's good for, like, uh, readathons and stuff, but I'm so happy to have that one. 
Um, and as you guys know, I already had this book in the second book. My friend Becky um, bought a lot of books off me. It's how, why I was able to buy these books. And I wanted to read this book with her, so I had to rebuy it. I was on Book Outlet. It's they think now sold out. It was like $2.99, and that's Dorothy Must Die by Daniel Page. So we are going to read this book um, probably next month, maybe. Um, so I had to rebuy it so I could read it with her. And then I was looking for scary books, and I saw this on here, and it's, I was on, what was I on, um, Facebook, and it said, like, if you like these movies, then you'll like this book, and this was one of the books that were in, one of the movies I would like, um, and it's Catherine Howe Conversion. Um, I did have this a long time ago, I didn't read it, so I brought it back, um, to, I think it was Target I bought it at, but this is supposed to be, like, The Crucible, um, these girls, they start teasing another girl, and then it's in Danver, Massachusetts, and, um, things start to happen, crazy stuff happens, girls lose their hair, bugs, and stuff like that, um, so I definitely wanted to pick this up. She has another book coming, another book out, which they said if you like The Sixth Sense, which I do, you'd like that book, um, but I haven't picked it up yet, so I wanted to give that a shot. And I'm already at six minutes and I still have more books, so I might have to do like part one, part two. Um, let's do the book of the Barnes and Noble online. Um, I got as you can already saw Enclave, and I am reading this with Mama Mama Triplets, and we're on page 41, and it's good. I like it. I really do like it. Um, I was looking for extra books to add to my cart to make it be big enough to get the free shipping because I'm no longer a Barnes member. I need to become one again, but um so I had to add stuff in there and this was like a cheap book and it was The Fairest of Them All by Carolyn Tardino and this is interesting because this is Rapunzel meets a prince they have a one night affair um and I believe he comes he um he weds this, uh, this other girl and a baby's born named Snow White and I've heard amazing things of this and I love um, what do you call it? Guys, stop it. Um, fairy tale retelling, so definitely wanted to pick this one up. And then I picked up by James Dashner, The Maze Runner, because the book, the second movie just came out, The Scorch Trials, and I've been wanting to read this and get into this series, so I definitely wanted to pick it up, and it was like six bucks, so I picked it up. I don't know if I ever showed that one or not. Um, I was watching YA Mermaids. I love her channel. She's an awesome person. Um, I love her videos and everything, and she had hauled this book, and the moment that she hauled this book, I ran to Barnes & Noble to get it. My Barnes & Noble didn't have it, so I had to order it online, which was sad, but that's The Walled City by Ryan Gardine. Gard um, I love this cover so much better than the actual hardback. Um, this is about, the tagline says, run fast, trust no one, and always carry your knife. This follows, I think if I was... Jin, May, and Dai, and they live in the Walden City, and Jin hides her, hides herself under the radar by acting like a boy, because if she's a girl, she'd be sent to the brothel, and they're trying to get out, I believe, and it sounds really good, and I definitely wanted to pick it up, um, oh yeah, he actually has another one coming out, Wolf, Walled by the Wolf, you can see it, I didn't know that. Um, but I definitely wanted to pick this book up and give it a try. So thank you, YA Mermaids. Um, and then I saw this at the store, and I was reading a little bit, and I'm like, I'm going to order it online, because it was a lot cheaper, and I had a coupon. And that's What You Left Behind by Jessica Verdi. Mom of Triplets has read this, and she loved it. Um, this is about Ryden's, um, Ryden and Meg, uh, she gets pregnant, she stops her chemo treatment, she passes away. And how he has to become, you know, the father and try to help raise this child. And it sounds really good and really touching. And I really do want to read it eventually. Probably after October. Because I'm into all the spooky stuff right now. Then I picked up Zeros by Scott Westerfeld. It says, every power has a price. And I love the cover. Um, it's orange and gray. I normally, I have not read a Scott Westerfeld book. But this one sounded really good. It's dubbed as Ocean's Eleven X-Men, I think, or just X-Men. Um, and it's about these three people, uh, Ethan, Nate, and I don't know the other lady. 
where they have power. I'll read the back here. It says, Zeros, they call themselves like heroes, but not. Scam, the voice inside him says whatever you want to hear. Crash, brings technology to its knees. Flicker, can see through anyone's eyes but her own. Anonymous, out of sight, out of mind. Be- Bellwether, focus, forces the energy of, of a group on one gold. Gold, let's find one more zero. And I guess Scam is doing a bank heist and his voice is in his head makes him screw up the bank heist and they need to find more zeros and it sounds really 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 good all right 10 minutes okay um then i picked up some girls bite this is the first chicago land vampires novel and again bookish and Ari was talking about this so i definitely want to pick it up um then i picked up Charlie Hickson, The Enemy. I've been wanting to read this book forever. They changed the covers and I love the cover change. Uh, This is about kids that are stuck in a grocery store. I think I could be not grocery store. I'm not sure. There's no, there's not a tagline on here. Um, But he has a lot in the series and uh, it's how they survive in the poke apocalyptic world and there's zombies and it sounds really good and I love The Walking Dead so I need my zombie fix. And then I picked up Asylum by Madeline Rue. Um, I had the hardcover I gave away in the contest, but I wanted something scary, and this sounded pretty good. It's got pictures, which are really cool, like Miss Peregrine's Home for the Killing Children. Um, and this is about a kid, Dan, and his friends. They are going to New Hampshire College prep class, and they find some spooky pictures and things, and things are not as they seem. That's what the asylum looks like, and the third one is already out, and Sanctum's already out, so I'm definitely going to give this a try. And then I picked up this in the clearance section, which is Rainbow Rowell's Landline. Um, I'm really excited to find this in the book, in the bargain books for like $6 in the store. Um, this is about a girl that she has a phone, and she goes back in time to talk to her husband of the past, and how that's going to play out, and it should be really good. And the last thing I got is the coloring book for grown-ups. Um, I've seen a lot of people hauling coloring books for adults, and they've gotten a lot of rave reviews, and they're good for relaxing. And I actually listened to this when I'm watching The Walking Dead. Um, this is the first picture that I colored while I was waiting for the watching The Walking Dead. Um, and it's just a really relaxing thing to do. And it was only eight dollars, and it's jam packed with tons of pictures. So I can try to show you. Like, just tons of intricate pictures, and then patterns, and bigger pictures. Like, it's just an amazing book, and I love it, so I picked it up. My fiancé actually has a tattoo one. I should have brought it here to show you. Whew, but that's all, guys. Um, If there's another part, I'll put it in the video. Please just don't look at my hair. I just got a shower. Um, but I will talk to you guys later. Like I always say, keep calm and read on. Bye, guys.